Hey boat lovers, we're on a 2008 41 foot Riviera with throttle issues on the port side. We have yet to diagnose the situation, but it could either be a harness issue or a processor. But we're here prepared just in case we need to replace the processor. All right guys, so it's a gloomy day today as you can see over here in Bayside Village in Miami. But we're going to be working on this 41 foot Riviera. All right, Dad, so you have your handy meter out. Yeah, I'm measuring the voltage on the output of the actual Cummins signal, the throttle signal. The signal is supposed to be 0.8 at idle and at full throttle almost five volts so i'm checking this right now to verify what's going on okay and we have no throttle signal coming out we have voltage on the on the harness but we have no voltage signal coming out of the unit so what we're going to end up doing is replacing the processor programming it and verifying what we need to do. All right, we've removed the old processor, and now what we're gonna end up doing is putting another processor that we bring with us. You're gonna have to speak louder, that came on. You batting your eyes at me? Roll sound. Rolling. Sound production, take two. All right guys, we removed the old processor. Now we're gonna bring, we're gonna. Uh... Don't hate me. All right, guys, we removed the old processor, but like I said, we try to keep things in our shop so that we that we come prepared to to our, our vessels. But I have another processor, an EEC4, that we're gonna actually install here to correct the throttle issue that this customer was having. So we removed the old one, and now we're gonna come back with another one. All right, guys, we got the processor already replaced. This is a EEC4. You have seen the EEC3s that we installed. The EEC3 is a little bit more in depth. You have a, a, a troll card, you have a throttle card. The throttle cards could be changed to man, could be changed to caterpillar, could be changed to Volvo. It has so many variations that you can uh, add to it. This one here is just a integrated throttle board for Cummins and a shift. So. It is all in one package and it just simplifies an install. So for this particular application, all he needs is throttle and shift. He doesn't have any troll. So this is the best option for him. But other than that, uh, there's fuses underneath this front cover. You remove this front cover and you can actually see the CAN bus, which tells uh, if there's an issue or short with the CAN bus that the, you don't have no lights you are able to access this. It has shift fuses so that in case you do have a short one of your sh uh, shifting solenoids, you could actually come over there and verify that the shifting solenoid fuses are perfect. So this is a nice get go-to system and very easy to access for troubleshooting. While the other EEC3 that you have seen in our other videos, it is a little more in depth. The fuses are internal and you have to actually take the system out to actually access the fuses inside, which we really don't recommend people to do, but we could coach people to do this. But very simple, EEC3, EEC4, and we're going to go and do a startup test and dockside test. It's like an eclipse with a yacht. It's almost like starting a spaceship. Yeah. Need to flip so many switches. Yeah. The membrane is going bad on this. But that's another thing to tackle. Robert Toronto? 
that fourth throttle. So we were able to give him back his throttle on the port side. So we knew that there was an issue with the processor. So we like to come prepared, like always. Okay guys, the situation that the customer was having is that it would run perfect. He would have throttle, he would have shift at startup. After five minutes of running the engine, we're going and doing whatever he was uh, doing in, out at the water. He would come back to the throttles and try throttling up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate what he's having. So we're gonna sit here for five, 10 minutes and verify that the engine warm up let it get up to its optimal temperature and we're going to actually shift it and throttle up and verify that everything is working that there was an issue with the actual throttle output of the processor a few minutes later all right so he just tested it after five minutes and it sounds pretty good All right, guys. Well, the customer is going to give us some feedback, but right now we've already resolved his throttle issues. But guys, your input means a lot to us. If you like our content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, I wasn't in the last couple of videos, like speaking wise, but I'm, I'm here. I'm the one filming. Yeah. All right, like and subscribe, guys.